Cool. Okay, so I'm with Ian Luckett. Hello, Ian. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Now, Ian, cool. it's been just coming up to two years now since we first met, and yeah. that was the very first um, business breakthrough day that I ran, actually. Yeah, so, it was, yeah. Yeah, so you came along, we had about 10 or 12 people in the room that day, and then off the back of that, obviously, um, we started working together on the uh, business mentoring program, yeah. and I'd love for you, Ian, to share really what has taken place in the last two years since we since we first got together because it's been a really like rapid uh, <laughs> so please do share with everyone like what that journey has been and what your key takeaways are that you can share with them yeah cool no problem at all so i so i as i say i met up with uh, chris and john ketley um in november 2015 i think it was and we we had the business breakthrough date and i finished that when i finished the breakthrough date i realized right i've got something here uh, if you want to, you know, get out of the rat race, you want to do your own thing, which I'm doing now, sitting in my summer house on a, I don't know what it is, Friday afternoon, you know, talking to Chris, been to a networking meeting, walk the dog, you know, I've been doing some consultancy work and life is good, but it's taken, you know, a couple of years and um, it, it's about well, when you come out. Let me just stop you there, Ian. Yeah. When, when we met in November, explain where you were in terms of your position. At so. That Okay, cool. So I, I had a really good idea of the business and what I wanted. Uh, I knew what the company name was called and I was working as a senior manager um, in business development, working sort of kind of sort of 50, 60 hours a week. So I didn't have much time. I knew what I wanted to do and I absolutely focused 100% on that business because I knew, even though the business changed over the last two years, that that was going to be the knowledge and the skills that I'd got and the business model that, that, that we put together over the following year was going to help me get me where I needed to be and yeah, give me the opportunity to get out of the rat race and to create extra money, you know, which will then provide additional support and security. So <clears throat> we came out of that meeting, went into the year and I thought, you know, to be honest with you, my first impression was, God, that's a bit expensive. I can't afford that. And then I thought, well, I can't afford not to do it. So, you know, if you need to find the money, you'll find it from somewhere. And then we, we did that and it was the best investment I made, to be honest with you. Uh, my view is is that if I pay for any training or knowledge or any personal development stuff, I want to get double the value back in value. So when I look at something, I'll see, yeah, but what can I get back? You've always got to look at things return on investment. So we went through that program and last went through the year, met up monthly, got, got the calls going. And I just, because I wanted to wring it dry and because I know that I wanted to get my business up and running, I just took massive action. So I was on the train on the way in writing copy for the website, answering emails on the way home, you know, and I did that for pretty much oh, I don't know, nearly 18 months. Um, and I won't lie, it's bloody hard work. It's really hard work. And sometimes you just, you do self doubt and you trip yourself up and you think, you, oh, sod this, I can't, but you just keep going back to your why. Why are you doing it all the time? But the key thing is you've got to bloody do it. You've got to start. If you don't start, you know, you, you'll have this journey and yet, you know, skate the rat race in 12 months. If you do it in 12 months, fantastic. But you might, you might hit it. I've had, you know, some big struggles because to be honest with you, the fantastic conversation we had last week with Chris um, was that, you know, I just needed to tilt the business a little bit. I've got a great model and a great product, but it, it wasn't getting the customers I wanted. So we just gave it a little nudge, turned it a couple of degrees to the left. Um, and now it's starting to get some real traction, which has just happened at such a great time because I've got, other work going on i've got you know I'm at, I'm at the place now where people are just sort of throwing money at me and i'm sort of going hang on a minute no i don't want to do that i don't want to do that and it and it's really good and time but but yeah so let me this, just jump in for yeah. a second ian so a, a point i want to get across a couple of things you mentioned there is that yeah it absolutely it's it's going to be a long slog and hard yeah, work yeah, yeah. It, it may not take it may not all happen in 12 months but no. the, the the progress you'll make in that first 12 months, if you're committed and yep. consistent, you'll look back and you'll go, okay, well, I'm not exactly where I want to be, but you know what? I'm so yep. much better and I know so much more now. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and do you know what's actually, what's actually happened as well, which is really funny? So when you go through the program, you meet up with the people that, you know, you, you put us in co connection with and you, you actually... If you just go through the program, you could actually then just go and coach people on business because you know about marketing, you know about finance, you know about, you know, business development, product design, you know, and all that other stuff. And in actual fact, that's kind of where my business has gone. So, yeah, I went out to go and help corporate professionals. But now I'm actually coaching businesses, which was what I didn't think I was going to do. 
but the market will decide your niche and the market will decide where you want to go. And, it, and, and the really important thing is, is that, yeah, I had, you know, I had a fallout with my boss in February this year and ended up leaving. Okay. And, but because I knew what I wanted and I knew that I had this model and I, and I had everybody else telling me that, that it's, it's all in one place and I've got that model set up. I didn't care. I wasn't going to go and get, I was never, ever going to go and get another job. And I didn't. And I went out there and, but because I've got that knowledge about the business and about the whole thing, which I think is actually something that you don't realize you've done, Chris, because you've sort of given us all those other skills as well to, to create a business. I know what I need to do. If something goes wrong with people aren't resonating on an advert, I change the copy. If something goes wrong with the product, I just tweak that a little bit. And yeah, it is, it is really hard work, but I'll tell you now, you know, it's really, really bloody worth it because as long as you stay positive and as long as you keep connecting, you keep talking to people, getting feedback and listening as well. And I'm not that great at listening. And, uh, you know, Chris, Chris, you know, Chris, you've been brilliant. And especially, especially in the last week, he started texting me at 10 o'clock the other night. I shattered. I was absolutely dead to the world. And I think we got off the phone at midnight once we'd finished, <laughs> just he's finished prodding me and beating me up. Uh, but it was really good and really grateful for that. And the rest of the group as well, because everyone there is really, really supportive. Yeah, yeah no, I appreciate that, Ian. Yeah, uh, cool. It, it's, it's a pleasure for me to work with people who are motivated and, and you know, will, if, if I offer some advice based on my experience and then actually someone uses it and, and, and takes it, you know, and, and that's, yeah. that's the most rewarding thing. But one other thing is I often say to people, you know, I, you know, the comfort zone is, is the thing that holds people because they're comfortable where they are, they need that prod, and it's just easier to keep doing the same thing rather than yeah. stretch the comfort zone. And I say to people, well, what would happen if you walked into work tomorrow and suddenly that job wasn't there? You know, what position are you in? And yep. I think that's a classic case you mentioned there about, you know, obviously the, the fallout with the boss earlier this year. Yep. That was 12 months after obviously us working together yeah. and had you have not committed and, and learned everything you've learned and built your business to the point you'd built it, that conversation probably would have left you in a very different frame of mind. Very it? much so. Very much so. And, and I think that was probably the thing. So no, I hadn't got enough money to, to, to stop and replace my income, but I did have a business model. I knew where I was going to go and get money from, which gave me a real sense of security because what it meant was I could actually, uh, it, I think what happened was if I did, sorry to change that, but if I had carried on doing what I was doing, I didn't have that fallout. I think I would have made both things work, which is probably the worst thing for me. Because this event happened, power of attraction, whatever you want to call it, because it happened, it forced me to make that decision. It forced me to, to, to do something and really get hyper-focused on the product, hyper-focused on the business and really drive it forward. And that was yeah, that was the key thing. But I think the, you know, the, the key, the, the thing I'm going to say to you guys now is that you're all sitting there at the eight club, I'm presuming. Why did you go up that lift? Why are you on the eighth floor of that building? And if you're on the eighth floor of that building going, well, cause I'm just, I'm just seeing what's going on. Do it, just bloody do it. Because if you don't start it, you are never going to finish it. And um, I've never seen another system and a process and a support network like Chris's. And I'm not, you know, blowing smoke and all of that where it's genuine and it really does help because otherwise he wouldn't have texted me the other night at quarter past 10 and said, you know what, Ian, I think we, I'm not sure about this because it, because it, it's, it's just about sharing that thing. So if you're sitting there wondering, well, you know, what if, and what, if, well, yeah, you can sit and wonder what if, you know, for all, all you like really, but you'll still be sitting there in a year, go and do it. Just get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. And you've shown that over the last 24 yeah. months because you've now, why wouldn't you, why, why would you not do it? Yeah. But you've shown that <laughs> now you've started a podcast, like you just yeah. you know you got the idea and then you yeah. asked some questions about, you know, how did I set up and you spoke to some other yeah. people. Now you're like nine episodes, ten episodes in. Yeah, right? we're, ten, we're ten episodes in. I've just finished one off today. And, uh, and also, you know, someone's thrown some consultancy at me, which is great. It's not really what I want to do, but it's money. And the first thing I did was how can I continue to run my business? How do I run my business? I've got a VA. I've got my, and in actual fact, yesterday, we're now talking about getting another VA to support her. And I'm going to start doing some outsourcing um, with regards to some podcasts and other admin tasks. Now, how did I get into a position where I could get a VA? Because I've got my systems and my processes set up. And I can just go, go and deal with that. And, and we have, we've got a great relationship. She's literally four weeks in and she is flying. 
uh, really, really well. But because I had that model, because I got the system, I've got the processes and I know how it works, which is, you know, it's obviously come from the cornerstone of your program. Um, I can just go, right, I'm going to go over and do this. Can you just run the business for a couple of months? And it's bloody great. Yeah. 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 Wouldn't, I, yeah. And I wish I'd done that months ago, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool. cool. Ian, thank you. You know, congratulations no on, on all of your success so far. And all right. Thanks for so that. No, well done, and, and good luck, guys. And, you know, if anybody wants to chat or whatever, then Chris can pass on the details about it. But just do it. Just do it.